Welcome back to Crown's Crypto Cave. Wish you a very happy and healthy start to your cryptocurrency Monday week. And Bitcoin lose, looking like it is kind of losing a little bit of its steam uh, on that upwards call. Uh, if Bitcoin breaks 39.30 to the downside, then I start looking for that move to 3,800. Um, but, uh, but sell the 200 exponential, buy the 200 simple, the pink and the purple, whichever one breaks first. Oh man, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. What I'd do is I'd really want to see 3900 break on CMEs. That's what means a lot more to me. They just lie a lot less. But Litecoin looking like she's losing her luster as well. So Miss, Mrs. Litecoin is the best argument for, for the whole market maybe getting out of the more bearish uh, trend. She has still not confirmed uh, confirmed, uh, confirmed upside um, or bull market or anything like that. Jesus Christ, man. Go, Forex, go. Check out Mr. Buterol. Mr. Buterol, again, the most bearish of the bunch, uh, fucking around with its critical trend line right here, right now. He's looking sick. He looks like he, he looks like he wants to jump off the fucking ledge. Hey, Jewel actually did give a sell yesterday um, right here, so not bad. Overall, that would be considered a retest of this rising trend line that's been governing the lows ever since uh, ever since December. So if that trend line got broken, then we have something new to consider. Buy the 200 simple, sell the 200 exponential. It's like the weekly on Bitcoin. Ripple nipples. Oh my God. The nipple. Has he been freed? Has he been freed? 29 cents. Absolutely critical. If 29 cents is lost, uh, that's when Brad Garlic House starts knocking on doors. Oh no. The nipple. The nipple is freed. Holy fucking moly. How much do you love fractals? Fractal. 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 What could this be? Ringo Dingo? He's going crazy. What's up, man? If you identify as some sort of fucking robot kin. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but... <laughs> Four hour does have a little bit of bullish divergence actually in the more immediate price action. We do see a uh, massive, massive higher low on the RSI uh, corresponding with about the same low on price action, slightly lower low right here. So I actually would be looking for this to crawl its way up and test this blue box territory once again. Do we get a formal test of, you know, uh, 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 of the upper territory perhaps? But overall, you know, still holding up above the 200 simple moving average and 200 exponential moving average. Hashtag FML, motherfucker. Uh, acting as resistance. And what's up, Ralph uh, Vagnio? Good to meet you, man. And oh my God, it's a new, it's, it's a, it's a new emoji. That's amazing. Got this. Everyone was talking about the falling wedge. That's going to save Bitcoin, baby. We're going to fucking 15 billion on this falling wedge, baby. And this thing ain't going lower, bro. And, and well, you got the breakout right here, right? This is the chart of a God awful five out of five. Oh, we going up the ramp to the fucking moon and then oh. You bastard. Where's Daniel Zilkus? Is he here? I need him to confirm. I, I trust Daniel Zilkus. Uh, Greg. Hey, what's up, Greg Miley? Long time no see, man. What's up, Crown? I'm quitting my job in an hour. Holy shit! Fucking yeah, baby. Fucking yeah. By the way, Greg Miley is uh, is, uh, is 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 in the technical analysis program and the options program. I don't really want to trade it anymore, like trading support and resistance, until we actually break out the upside or break down below the support. So that would be a range of 40.20 to the upside and four or sorry 38.60 to the downside. Whichever one happens first is my next big direction. Likely going to have major confluences on into the monthly as well. And there is a measure move to be made on this baby if we can see this right now. And if we do bring it out to the upside, uh, looking at a move somewhere right around 4400 by the same token if we do break out to the downside as this is an equal opportunity uh triangle it's a social justice warriors wet dream right now and uh that'd be pointing down around this uh this bottom rising support somewhere around that 35 50 ish range man it's uh it's shit coin wednesday apparently oh my god going to a higher time frame is really bad let's go down let's go to an even higher time frame. oh my god what the fuck what the actual fuck this chart is only good if 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 you have AIDS and you just want to die faster. Person on crypto Twitter, he just said, it's not right, it lies, no! Right now, with traditional marks are coming down. Holy moly, man, traditional marks actually finally having the continuation that we were looking for yesterday. So fucking fine, God damn it, finally, man. And it's likely to kind of grind this top for a little bit of time. Um, but I am starting to see, am I starting to see a little bit of distribution going on? Let's go down to a lower time frame. Um, no, I don't think that's appropriate to say. I think that we're actually forming a flag right now. I think that we are forming a flag. Uh, look at this. <clears throat> we do have a nice flag formation going on right now. Uh, be uh, support right around uh, $58. Resistance right around $61. It does look to me like it does want to reject from this resistance so far. Uh, we do see 4-hour stokes getting pretty mature up here. We do see 4-hour RSI getting rejected from the bullish control zone. Zertu from Planet Zygon is really going to need these things when he comes back and forces everyone to adopt Scientology. Otherwise, you're going to be fucked without your golds. Yeah, Ripple's nipple is still... 
you know, de definitely one of the weakest in the top 10. Uh, it actually did break down and reach down towards our low 29 cent region the other day, or sorry, yesterday that was, but has bounced off it. Again, just a game of supportive resistance in this overall major descending triangle that it's been living in ever since December 2018. And she says, Now, I didn't believe it was appropriate for my son to sleep with Michael. But he did. <laughs> What the fuck did I just hear? Your seven-year-old kid is going into a bed with a growing man. And Mr. Peterall, a little bit more cut and dry actually. Support right around this 382 Fibonacci retracement, 136.5. Resistance right around 143.5. Uh, nothing too crazy there. If it breaks out to the upside, I'd be looking for that move to 152.5. Breaks out to the downside, I'd be looking for a move to 126.5. Bitcoin actually is hinting at a breakout right now. Of course, it's right at the breakout trend line on the higher time frames. It really does look quite an aggressive move right now as we not only see us kind of like hang around the resistance trend line, but also the daily stokes are technically crossed up right now, although a very weak cross at that. It is unconfirmed, actually, as we need to actually see this daily dildo be set in stone, which is going to be happening at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I'd imagine that if Bitcoin closes anywhere above, let's call it like 3980, it probably does actually confirm across the upside. But for now, uh, it's hinting at it right at a major resistance and above all our, you know, all of our more preliminary moving average is a 10 simple the yellow 21 exponential and obviously the the green 50 exponential moving average which is supporting price action um for this whole up move so far so this is starting to look a little bit more you know a, a, a little bit more legitimate mom i want my tendies i have five good boy points you lazy bitch elsa's on crutches right now Let's see them. Um, let's see them. Um, are you going to get them painted pink or not? Historical volatility rank is extremely, extremely low. I mean, this is, this is, this is where major moves happen around this range. You know, anywhere below 0.1. Oh, Walton Chain. Very good at counter dead dog to eat. It is a very woolish coin. Not going straight down, but it is a still going the fuck off. off. Oh, hello, priest. We are going to change the world with a blockchain. <laughs> Quowns, Crypty, Quip. <laughs> Jeff, what the fuck, man? We have officially activated the Golden Cross on Mrs. Litecoin. It is there. It is, it is available. It has happened. And more importantly, Mrs. Litecoin is above all major moving averages, save... The most important one, the 377, but above all the other major moving averages. And typically, my rule is I'm not bearish on anything that looks like this. Oh, I guess I have a little bit of a chart on. I have a chart on. <laughs> Hey, are you happy to see me or do you just have a chart on? Maddie G says, I've got a chart on. I've got a super big chart on. So my main message right now is that, yes, we did get the breakout off of uh, this morning's uh, video to the upside, but I think that the right way to be looking at it is the 200 exponential to the upside is, is to be the major massive resistance that is doesn't mean that bitcoin can't get above it but that's what i'd be using you know first and foremost because it does have the history and it does actually line up pretty damn well with this as a massive triangle for me forming right now which whichever way that it's you know whichever way that it does break is likely to be the next big direction for uh bitcoin and like i said lower time frames do look constructive higher time frames still corrective so if we were to break out a, break it to the upside probably looking somewhere right around 4500 uh perhaps even beyond um if we break it onto the downside probably retesting prior lows so that's kind of what's at stake right now and this can take you know another few weeks for, for, uh, for all I'm concerned as far as the weekly goes Veronica shut the fuck up <laughs> Aerie gets signaled right around ooh oh man no oh motherfucker bearish divergence is when price action is making higher highs and then our oscillator our RSI oscillator is making lower highs in confluence with those with those uh, higher highs on price action so RSI, lower highs, price action, higher highs. That's your bearish divergence. And the most important thing about this that I think most people get wrong is you need to see a local high confirmed first before you compare it and make the assumption that it can be considered divergence. What do I mean by local high? Well, I mean by something like this. This is a local high. This is a local high. This is a local high. So we can accurately say that, hey, all these lower highs on the RSI, it's probably bearish divergence. Maddie, Maddie broke back mountain says, answer me, bitch. Sure, man. Is that... Will Bitcoin halving increase the value? That's your fucking question. Anyways, uh, take care and see you soon.